Welcome to today's video, everybody, and we are at the Atasha Heaven uh, event here at Old Daiva. Yeah, the weather definitely could be a lot better today, but it is still a great day nonetheless. As you can see behind me, a lot of cars with the Atasha wrap. Um, for those of you that don't know, Atasha literally means painful to look at car. Not in a negative way, more in like a, it's super colorful and bright and you look at it and it catches your eye kind of way. And obviously, people take it to the next level and put their favorite anime characters and just anime in general and cover their car in it. And it's a really fun event. We're gonna check out some really cool cars. We're gonna probably see some cosplayers. It's gonna be a good time. This is probably the only time you'll hear me say this, but Jordans were not the right choice today. Yo, this guy has a completely green suit. Is it St. Patrick's Day? Did I mess something up? Anyways, um, Corvette, DC2 Integra. I love this style, love this artwork. I think it's super cool. And I've actually already seen a couple Corvettes here, which is mind blowing to me. I think a lot of people are kind of trading in their like, you know, 34 GTRs and Supers and stuff for American cars, which is wild. I think that's a GTO, that's awesome. Hmm, this is giving me ideas. Oh yeah. <laughs> We probably need to uh, address the elephant in the room with that video. We'll, we'll talk about it in um, when we are able to re-upload the video later on, probably at the end of the month. Nice Z with the Nismo bumper. That's, I think, the Koki Nismo bumper. There were three versions of the Nismo bumper. The Zenki, the Chuki, and the Koki. It's kind of cool to see that. Man, there's so many cars here. I don't know if we're gonna be able to show it all. It's wild. The artwork on this looks incredible. It's a nice C35 Laurel. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's in detail. This is like a scooter with a sidecar. I didn't know that you could get sidecars for these like smaller, like, well, this is kind of a larger scooter. I don't know if you'd call this a bike, but I think there's a different name for this though. But yeah, still pretty cool. Fully touch it. <laughs> oh man, it's wild. Like. You think you watch a lot of anime and then you come to one of these events and you just struggle to recognize every single character. It's it's wild. And it seems like it's pretty well organized too. Like every like there's certain sections dedicated to certain anime series. So like if I go to the ReZero section, there's definitely gonna be a lot of Rems and Emilias and all that kind of stuff. So we'll, we'll make our way around and try to shoot as much as we can. But I do want to, uh, oh wow, that is very nice. Was that a TA Salika? I like that, it's kind of subtle. It's got like the gritty colors too. Another Integra. Damn, that looks so good. The race, is that grid life? What? I wonder if that's the same grid life. Dude, that looks so cool. We need an Atasha grip car and the spoon breaks on the Rega Masters. I'm freaking out, that's such a cool car. Ah, konnichiwa. Yay. Yay. <laughs> Oh wow, look at that. This is jacked up. <laughs> oh man, so good. Look at the Supra. No. Oh my gosh. Guys, if you recognize any of your favorite characters, let us know down in the comment section. That's so clean. I love that. Oh my gosh. And then look at this Swift. We saw this at Daikoku the other night, actually. It's cool to see it here. Yo, I think the more and more I see this, the more I want like an all blacked out Swift, just like this with the cut bumper, slam it. It looks so good, guys. Why? Oh my gosh, it looks amazing. We gotta get a new Swift. What has May done to me? Obviously, love live section. Love the bike. It's pretty pink. <laughs> Sucker themed, of course, the character. Look at this C35 Laurel, let's go. This thing giving me, oh my God, the side bumper exit. That's sick. Oh, this isn't a crown, this is an LS. Oh my God, he did it on this side too. That's so cool. Good wheel choice. This is the, the like, I want something blingy like this for my wheels on uh, the, the crown. Nice chaser. No, whoa, 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 Sam, that's, you saw that from behind. That's a Laurel, what is wrong with me? Nice Subaru. It's kind of cool. Nice wagon. That's also pretty cool there, the Love Live one. Sorry, my, I'm fighting with my umbrella, this is hard. 
Also, if my voice sounds a little different, I unfortunately forgot the mic and left it in the car. This is pretty cool. That's the chaser. <laughs> I knew there was one here somewhere. <laughs> Forgive me if I'm wrong, but these are Hawkeyes, right? This is Hawkeyes, right? Because I really like the Hawkeye hatches. They've been really growing on me recently. I love this. Oh my gosh. The K cars look great too. This, what is this? Oh, card cap to Sakura. That's an old one. It's pretty cool. What car is this though? What Honda is this? Oh, hello, there's someone in the driver's seat. That's so cool. I think she's cosplaying a Sakura too. Oh my gosh. This is sick. This is like drift spec. Shikatakami. Oh my gosh. There's a lot going on here. I love the GR86. That looks sick. Oh my gosh, guys. I just found an FC. Oh, there's an FD over there too. There's so much here. I don't think we're going to be able to cover everything and like I'm worried about my camera getting too wet. But this FC, we've seen this before and it is absolutely beautiful. Wow. Just the Grady logo and how they have an anime character integrated into it is sick. Looks great. And that rear diffuser is amazing. So much stuff here. I love this. This is cool. And they changed it to, is it Gup or Cup? <laughs> it's kind of funny. Oh, that wing is nice. So one thing about Atasha is it, it's, it's not just open to anime and manga. If you are a big fan of real life idols, you can also put those in your car. And even more there. This guy literally looks like he has TV screens integrated into his windows. Or I don't know if he's using some kind of projection, but there's TV screens. Wow. It's another level. Oh my gosh. It's EK. I know like I keep saying that like I want one, like one of these cars, one of those cars, but EKs are beautiful, even without the Atasha. And of course Evos are too. Ah! Driving me insane. This is cute. So see how this is kind of like faded and like almost like opacid, opacity, or I don't know how to pronounce that. This is called Ghost Atasha. And it's where they make like the stickers somewhat see-through. So it like kind of is subtle and blends in with the paint. I love that new style, it's super cool. Oh wow, this guy has like a, is that a custom OMP steering wheel with a, like, that's a Tasha? What? Now we need to look at this. Whoa, wait, 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 wait. Is that a custom link sticker? That is a custom link sticker that's like, what? I'm so intrigued by that. There's an R35 GTR here. These K cars are awesome. Little Suzuki Altos and stuff. Oh my gosh, look at the Alteza. Simple, I like it. Yeah, I'm a big fan of this like kind of ghost Atashi here. That looks great. There's even, uh, I think there's some more ghost Atashi here. There's gotta be. I'm gonna have a look. Oh, look at this FD. It's orange and black, which you normally expect to see in like a Ville side FD from like Fast and Furious, but it's actually got pop-up lights and everything. I love that. You don't see anyone really do this color scheme unless they have the Ville side kit. I really dig that. That's cool. <laughs> oh my gosh. I love this culture, guys. It's so awesome. I just love that it's loud, it stands out. Wow, Ortec 33 GTR with a Tasha. This really like changes your perspective on a lot of these guys. Cause I feel like, um, like typically in like America and Australia, a lot of people think that people that put this kind of stuff on their cars are generally like cheap people or like don't have a lot of money. But these wraps, especially good ones, could cost upwards of 10 grand. Like it's wild how expensive some of these really good high quality wraps are. And most of these cars are generally like pretty rare expensive cars too. So I think like most people, like if they're actually doing 
a decent Atasha, they've got a lot of disposable income to burn. Because it's big money here. Especially to get a good looking one. This 34 is beautiful. Absolutely love it. And then there's a Subaru here. Someone help me, what, what eyes is this one called? I'm learning more about Subarus. All the photographers are out taking photos. I feel, I feel bad for some of the models though because a lot of the cosplay outfits aren't the warmest and it is freezing. It's about 10, 10 degrees but the wind's blowing and if you get wet, it's, yeah, wind chill, all that. It's pretty cold. Oh my gosh, I've seen this 34 before and it's absolutely beautiful. Nismo front bumper. Oh, I love it. Sword Art Online, gritty. That's a really cool livery. I think we've seen that before. I can't remember where, was it Daikoku? It's cool because uh, I think it's the first Monday of every month. Normally there's a little meet at Daikoku where a lot of these guys bring their cars. Yeah. My socks and shoes are slushing around. Look at the VIP section. Love this. What is that? I'm just going to keep freaking out. But don't, uh, don't forget, we are going to be going to UDX to an underground car park meet. That's going to be pretty cool today too. That's sick. It's kind of like a grungy style. That's also sick. Everything's sick, all right, guys? I'm just going to shut up. <laughs> We're in the re-zero section. This whole Mazda here is covered in rem. I love the little, like, the, the um, uh, Sakura wheels. Kind of cool. This thing is wild with Workmeisters. Rem, of course. This little cappuccino has Amelia on it. That's awesome. And then uh, this 34 has Rem and Ram on the hood. And so does this uh, FD RX-7. It's pretty cool. We're now in the lower car park and this thing stood out to me right away. S15 front end, S14. Uh, nice yellow color, of course. Tasha wrapped. The wheels are nice too. Looks great. And then it just kind of gets better. <laughs> nice 370Z. Oh, this is that ghost Tasha I was telling you guys about. A nice crown wagon. See how it's kind of like faded and blended in with the paint like that? It's kind of a little see-through. It's really cool. Oh, wow. So one of my all-time favorite animes is, is Angel Beats. It'll mess you up though, just like Clannad would, but very nice. I love that. It's good to see Angel Beats still out here. This... <laughs> This is, actually, I really like this. The GR86 looks amazing. Man. Let's see what else we can quickly find. Orange Mark II with BN Sports Aero. Chaser, I love that. EK, there's been a lot of EKs I think I've noticed. Oh my gosh, this looks amazing. The color coordination is epic with the headlights. Yeah, see, I don't know, man, the new Swifts just look so good when they're slammed like this. That looks amazing. Especially with the bumper cuts they've been doing. You can see photographers and everything, cosplayers. Big event for cosplayers that come out and pose with all the cars. Cool. Another EK. It's pretty cool. That's also awesome. There's so much going on here. Oh my gosh, look at that umbrella. It's got a life of its own. <laughs> nice RX-8. I wonder what this van is. It has an intercooler on it. It could be an intercooler though. I've seen a fair few cars here with intercoolers, but I'm not sure. It's got a Brembo brake upgrade. Like, big Brembo brakes. They look like Skyline brakes. I wonder if there's an SR or something in this. Interesting. I don't know what car it is. Sorry, my umbrella sticks in the way. It's cool. Another S660. This looks great. Oh, I love this. Slammed 180. We're just like a simple thing on the side. I dig that so much. Nice Mark V. Next to an MR2. That's awesome. There's so much here. It's probably going to be really hard to capture everything. Plus, with the weather and whatnot, it's obviously really hard to film. Um, it's kind of slowed down a little bit now, but I do have my camera out in the rain and I'm risking it a bit. So 
I'm probably gonna actually pack up now and we're gonna head to the event at UDX in Akihabara. There's supposed to be like another Itasha event in the underground car park there, which means it'll be dry and obviously a lot nicer. My shoes are full of water, my pants are soaking wet. It's, it's pretty bad. No matter how much I'm using the umbrella, the water's still getting everywhere and there's not really much I can do about it. So let's head to UDX. So this is a different meet than I was expecting, but the whole second floor is pretty much closed down at um, UDX. There's music playing, we get a drink for free when we pay our 10 bucks to get in, and apparently there may or may not be pole dancers from 4pm, which is a little wild. Well this is an experience, what is going on? So I hope the B-roll does this justice, but I've never been to a car meet like this. Like, this is probably the closest thing that you can get to a real, like, underground Tokyo Fast and Drift meet. I thought there was going to be a Tasha cars here, but there isn't. It's called Tokyo Moto Collection. Moto Collection. I think we went here a long time ago, but it was very different. This was... This was next level. I've never seen anything like this. Like, global? Yeah. It's pretty cool. But also, at the same time, it's very hard to film with all the loud music playing and worried about copy strikes and things like that, but still, very, very cool event. I decided to leave the event and just check out the cars in the normal UDX car park, and bam, the Tasha. Love it. So let's have a walk around and see. Oh my God, more Tasha. This is why I love Akihabara, because you can literally just like walk through the underground car park here. It's called UDX, three letters, UDX. Just search UDX car park on Google Maps when you're here and just walk down to the third level. Third and second level is awesome. Always got the good cars. Sick. Oh my god, another Itasha car. We're gonna walk around and just see what else we find, but there's always great cars here. It's cool to see this kind of like culture for the first time. I remember when I first came to Japan and seeing all of this and it was just so overwhelming and it was amazing. Nice 33 GTST. Looks like series two. This car really threw me off. At first I thought it was like an interesting, like weird front end swap on a chaser, but then I started looking closely at it. I think it's a Gloria, but it's just really confusing. I've never seen this front end before. And then at one point I was like, oh, maybe, maybe it's a Laurel, but like, yeah, it really threw me off. The aero kit on this is pretty cool. Really look like a chaser from, from far away. It's pretty cool. Nice clean GCA. Not bad, the speed line wheels too. Oh, it's got an old Pro Drive Spark OC. That's kind of unique for Japan. It's clean. This Type X here is super clean. I love it. The white wheels on white, not too bad. Nice. Look at the EG. This is so sick. It's absolutely slammed. And there's a nice yellow one next to it as well. Oh, I've always loved the EGs more than I think out of every other Civic. So this is pretty cool. This vending machine has fiber optic cables for sale in it. Ethernet cables, uh, USB, like an electric screwdriver that's USB chargeable, more Ethernet cables, Raspberry Pi Zeros, bunch of tech stuff, like even Cat5, Cat6 plugs and stuff. You can make your own cables here. Screwdriver kit, power adapters and power boards. Only in Akihabara would you find stuff like this in a vending machine. Especially the fiber optic cables. That's cracking me up. So a fair bit of time has passed and as you can see, there are a lot more cars in the car park outside of the event. Arguably, the car park outside of the event is better because all the people who are at the Atasha event have come here. And it's awesome. It's so cool. 
I never really got a good look at this car at the event, but I've never seen a bug eye done like this with this headlight conversion style, like the eyelids and everything. It looks sick. I like that. It's kind of like, like, don't get angry at me, but it, it might be the only way to make a bug eye look good. I don't know, let me know what you think, but that looks amazing. Really nice RX-8. That's a pretty full on wrap. Wow. And then over here, I think we saw this before, it was like an old TA, super clean. And then some more cars, wow. Yeah, I saw this at the event. This I saw at the event too. It's awesome. So much you touch this stuff here. Yo, that's sick. I love how it matches with the wheels and everything in the car. Late six leaving, dude, there's so much stuff going on right now. Even Igor's here, Elbow's here, everybody's here. Everyone just rocked up randomly. As you can see, Elbow's uh, SDI Forester. Igor's brother's uh, Pandem 33 GTR with a 400R badge. And then uh, Igor was driving in this 14. It's nice and key. super clean, love it. Dude, the cars just keep rolling in. Oof, that wing. And then up here, we got a nice S15, Celica, Celica, and a Crown. This is actually my series Crown, I think, too. Oh, 13, nice. Dude, I love how this has just turned into a wild meet, like out here. So cool. The best thing is, is out here, sadly, you can't hear the music that would get us in trouble on YouTube. Oh, 370Z wheels? Yo, they slap. They look good on a 15. Unpopular opinion, maybe. Got a really clean looking 34 there. And then over here, I think I saw this at the event. Nice spoon, kind of like earlier Civic, like a newer Civic, not a, it's the one above the EK, right? The one that came out after the EK, I think. I don't actually know off the top of my head what model number that is. And then, I think, I think this is Hawkeye. I want to say it's a Hawkeye. Yeah, Hawkeye hatch, I think. This is sick, I love it. We are just leaving the event now. It is currently 8.30 p.m. It was insanely cool, such an epic day getting to check out all of the Atasha, and then coming to this event, getting to experience the Tokyo Car Collection event, which was wild. I've never experienced anything like it, and that's probably the closest thing to a real Tokyo Fast and Furious drift movie, like meat, style meat. It was wild. It's the next day, we're at the shop, but I hope you enjoyed today's video. I definitely was completely blown away by everything that happened, and I hope you guys got some inspiration um, from the Itasha event, the Itasha Tengoku, Itasha Heaven event, as well as the UDX car event, the Tokyo Car Collection um, event was just wild. It, it was crazy. It kind of felt like a nightclub almost, but to be completely honest, like I've been to so many underground car park meets and stuff, and ones that we weren't even allowed to film and like invite only, and it was insane. That was the closest thing that I've ever experienced to what you see in the movies, like in the Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift film. Minus no drifting happening in the car park, but everything else was pretty much on point. Like I still can't believe there's like a bar and everything there, it was insane. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you enjoyed experiencing through my eyes and lens what real Japanese car culture is. And this is the kind of stuff that I always just sit back and like, it reminds me of why I moved to Japan and why I love the car scene and the car culture here so much. Going to the Itasha event, seeing so many people expressing what they love and their personality on their cars, is awesome and I think we could all take a lesson from that. But anyways guys, hope you enjoyed today's video. Smash the like button, write a comment and subscribe. Also, if you do frequent Twitch, make sure you check out the Twitch channel and before you go, grab yourself one of our new insulated water bottles over on summit.net and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.